Hello everyone, a wonderful day to you. I wanted to share a message today, which I learned many years ago. I had an opportunity to attend a four day Unleash the Power Within Him program with Tony Robbins. Now, if you've heard the name, you know he's someone who brings lots of energy, creates something quite amazing and incredible for that four day program. One of the message that I learned from the program and that I still live and it keeps on reminding me every day is a message that he shared around resources versus resourcefulness. You hear this all the time. Everybody complains. I don't have resources. I don't need, I, I need more people. I don't have money. You know, life is horrible. We keep on complaining all the time. Or in general, we complain that we don't have resources that we need. So he explains what's the biggest difference between resources versus resourcefulness. Of course, you can have, if you're a team, you to get the job done, you need people, you need money, you need training, you need skills, you need competencies. These are all resources that you need. But what if you have all of them and you don't know how to use them? That's where the problem is. That's where you will still keep on complaining and saying, I still need more people, I still need more resources, I still need more money, I still need this and that. So how can you turn this around? Focus on the part where how you can be more resourceful and create this mindset of resourcefulness. Look at the strengths within your team, how best you can use them. Look around how you train your people. What are you teaching them? Are you using all their abilities and the competencies that you can see within them. The biggest problem we have in most of the time is that we focus on the weakness of our people. For example, if you have someone in your team who probably is not very good at speaking with the clients or customers, you, you are focusing on this person, you gotta, you gotta get better to speak with your customers. But maybe he's very good at, at back office. Maybe putting I don't know, invoices together or some data together. Maybe that's where you can you can put him to do that job because you will get the best out of it, the best out of that person. This is an example of how you can create this culture of resourcefulness. I'm sure all of you knows and remembers this basic economic principle. Resources are limited and wants are unlimited. Therefore, the more people you have, the more resources you have does not mean you are going to get the job done. If you look into the world of sports, look at the Premier League. Is the most, sec I mean, the team who is in number one, is that the team who's got the best players? I mean, one could argue, I guess if you're a supporter of those teams, you probably will say. But look at the, the league where you have the most consistent teams. They probably don't have the best players in the world. They don't have the best resources. Yet they have something in common. Their coaches knows the strength of every single player and putting them at the right place at the right time. Hence they keep on scoring goals and probably staying consistent in the in, in the Premier League or in I mean even if you look at any, any league, I mean look at I mean I'm not a supporter of PSG, but they even out of the Champions League. At least one of my team, Real Madrid, is still in Champions League, by the way, and now in the semi-finals. So this is an example of how you can create this culture of resourcefulness. So to create the culture of resourcefulness, look at the strengths of your team. Look at how best you can use your people. And trust me, you will see a completely different result a completely different version of what your team can do and how they can deliver to the best of their abilities. After all, every organization 
complex resources. But if you know how to create the culture of resourcefulness, you will enjoy it. Because resourcefulness is a mindset. It's the mindset that you bring to your organization. Don't forget that.